<laughs> Nobody will be on. It's Facebook. Everybody's on. So and we're back. Mark had a really Hi. good idea. Like after we hung up. That's like an old hung phone. Up. That's an old phone. After we hung up the laptop on the old wall and slammed it down. Uh, Mark's like, slammed oh, it on the laptop. Hey, we should do, we should have done a 2019 year in review. And I was like, brilliant. Yeah, because I, on her thing, it said that she, you know she ran her first 5K this year. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, I teased did. her like or walked her. My first son 5K. and I, yeah. my son and I did, yeah. and we walked, we walked just a bit. Uh huh. Just a bit. Just I, I have that, that one picture I sent you. I, I think I just well, deleted off my phone, which was like the crazy like route that you took, and yeah, it was cool. It's cool well, it was 5K. Yeah, that's like three miles, you guys. It's not laughing matter. I thought it was just like k -k 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 -k. <laughs> so you're in review. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. I just I'm refusing to acknowledge. It's okay. You. My my humor is lame, and right. these two people, we, we can entertain them together. Yes, we have the power. Um, so let's do your in review. So I had a very I had a good year. Um. I learned a lot in my business, and I what was, did you learn? I was exhausted by the time December came. You know what else you did this year? Your first children's book. Yes. Yeah. Completed my first children, illustrating my first children's book. Ran a five k. Ran slash walked. I'm glad Casey's not on here because he'd be like, "Mom, you walked it." Mom, yeah. no, I okay, I, I. <laughs> I she ran at the beginning. I jumped quite often. <laughs> anyway, I did that. I I had my first business all by myself for a whole year, full year, mm -hmm. no other work. And my business, um, no, we didn't do a bowling trip. Did we do a bowling trip? No, but we did we go. We did your art trip. We did go on a couple of art trips, correct? Um, we went on some training. Yeah, we went on some art training. I did that, and I launched a product this year. It was fun. I launched Brush Babies. That's a big accomplishment. That sure. was a big accomplishment. I crammed that in before the end of 2019. I'm like, no, it's going out this year. So um, I did that. What else did I do? And then uh, we have uh, this show. That, yeah, we started uh, this show. Very well, that's because you blew it on the first episode asking me about this thing anyway mark's awesome he helps me out a lot we did lots of art shows together we did oh some art shows and my favorite art shows are the ones we didn't do together <laughs> yes those yeah. are the best I'm set you up and those I'll are see you later. so much work oh um you got promoted at your job i did and sure. and my my job i'm changing from like, yes so working at a health plan to working for the corporation and going from like a big wig corporation. Yeah, and going from so, um, yeah a small time project to a much bigger time yeah, project. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's it's an aggressive timeline, but that's yeah. why I'm so busy. With it. Right, that's why all I see is half your face behind a computer, mm -hmm. your eyeballs. You did lots of traveling this year too. I'm going to do job. more, I'm sure. Yeah. So gone almost like every month. For a, a certain amount of time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. about, and uh, we had a big year actually. And then um, something else happened. Oh, Parker got a, a, his little show in the play this year, mm -hmm. so he's gone right now doing that. Speaking of which, you got to pick him up soon. Yeah, you guys should buy raffle son. tickets. We have raffle tickets. We, we do have raffle tickets, guys. They're them. five dollars. <laughs> I usually don't Anybody, do this, please. but my son is selling them for his, um, he was inducted into the Junior National Junior Honor Society. Yeah, something like the that. Wilson, uh, the, the Honor Society, and he's going to Disney, and he's got to sell tickets. So if you want one, they're $5, let and me know. What, 50 50? A 50-50. Yes, yeah, like the prizes are like 250 100 something. I don't know. I have it in my car. Okay, good. It's in my car. The so if anybody wants free raffle tickets, it's pretty good. But just message yeah. me. I'll, I'll shoot one to you. That would be awesome because that would help pay for his trip. It would. Um, We're not above begging. So, no. Yeah, no. It's good. Um, but, yeah, it was a big year. I think it was I think it was a big year for me in particular because of just trying to keep 
honestly trying to keep the business going mm -hmm. without shutting down. Your first year in business is hard. We set up a studio in the house room. Oh this yeah, year. oh yeah. Went I changed like studios like three times this last mm -hmm. year. Yes. So that was a big one. Uh, Was everybody the whole like secret wall you have? Yeah, no, cool. not the new one, not the yeah. new secret wall. That's for another day. Okay. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's um, Mark's trying to block me right into the studio. Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> he's trying to make it permanent. Like, honey, go in there and let's see how this looks in like front of the entryway. Cast the Yeah, like bookcases. Yeah, he's trying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just keep drawing. Dear. Just keep drawing. Just, just don't pay attention to what's going on over okay. here. <laughs> um, now I moved studios three times this year, so that was a lot of work. And Mark has to help, poor guy, like every time. You don't have to, but you do. If I want you to be happy. You help, because you know, that's what spouses do, right? We help each other out. We're you friends. You, you're helping me all the time when I've got to do a bunch of work. Yeah. So We're always, hey, you helped me when I was sick. I was sick, sick, sick. Oh, yeah, Did you, you got Christmas? really, really sick. It was bad. It wasn't good. Yeah, part of the reason we didn't do it that week. Yeah, we didn't do our, our episode because he was very sick. Um, I think that's it, though, for a year in review. It's a, it was a big year, but then when you start to actually talk about it, it's not very big. It was very, very busy. It was. <laughs> it was very busy. It was. And what do we have on the agenda for 2020? Another, I'm going to... Another promotion. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's going to happen. VP? Yeah, hopefully someone's listening out there. Director? Yeah, we'd be director. Next. Director. Yeah. Director yeah. next. Yeah. I'm gonna go for president of my company. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Are you sure they're gonna vote you in? I don't know. You're gonna have to give fingers the, are the crossed. shareholders dog treats in there. Yeah, fingers are crossed. Fingers yeah. and toes. <laughs> no, I'm going I have goals to break fifty K this year. Wow. So okay, so guys, I, <laughs> I made twenty last year. So I know that's not a lot. Um, but for in our business well, and for just having my first year out the gate, I thought I did pretty good. Do you mean, do you mean gross or net? No, I grossed. I didn't bring that. That's no, that's total. Twenty k total. I mean, what was your goal for this year? I would like to gross fifty. Okay. I'd like to double it, and then um, every year try to go up from there. So okay. that's my plan. I want to get brush babies out there more so that more people have access to it. Um, the feedback I've gotten from it's really good. People seem to really enjoy it and like it. So I definitely want to keep promoting that. And I want to add to it. I've got so many ideas. I'm going to do a pajama party in February. Actually, maybe even the end of this what month. What does that mean? So it's going to be terrifying. No. So you get to paint at home with me. Everyone's in their own home. And we'll be on a video. And we can wear our jammies and have wine. And we're going to paint something. It sounds Super weird. fun. It's, it's a, weird. It's not weird. It's like a paint and sip that you would go to, but you're home instead. So we're all together on a video rather than actually in person. Who sweats instead of jammies? I'm totally yeah. rocking some Christmas jammies. Okay. But you know what? You can come. Yeah. No, you don't have to wear jammies. It's not required. If I have to draw, I'm not going to. I'm just hiding no, my computer. No, you don't have to draw. I'll look up once in a while. I will already have it done for you, and you get it, and then you paint with me. It's the painting part. Like, really, anything, no, you'd be fine. Anything that involves, like, the real world and using my with these hands yeah it's not gonna i'm gonna be releasing a um a couple's painting project brush baby too for february love day if we're gonna do that project love. together expect the finished result to be half awesome it's gonna be awesome total full awesomeness it's gonna be fun so it i can't wait i'm so we were supposed to do that last weekend or whatever but you've been so busy so we need to do that so I can get it out. Do you realize like I picked up a paintbrush maybe twice in my life? There are a lot of people who are doing them who have never painted or drawn, and they're doing pretty good. They're making some really nice projects, so I'm not worried about you at all. I better find a way to screw it up. Don't worry. No, you won't. I, I'm very creative when it comes to making things go wrong. Uh, Joe, I don't know if you show for you to do sidewalk chalk artist contest. I don't really do this side, the sidewalk chalk. Um, there's a couple artists in our area, though, that do. Uh, she travels. She's going to be traveling this year around for it. And so, um, but I don't. It's, that's a whole other ball game. So, let me ask you this. You talked about shows. Mm -hmm. um, art shows? Yeah. Yeah. And usually these art shows, honestly, you go out there, you spend money, you spend a lot of time, maybe you break even, maybe you make a little bit of right. money. Right. 
Uh, they're not very profitable. Right. They're good for marketing, maybe. They're excellent for marketing. But, I mean, you know what's excellent for marketing is um, getting on TV. That works a lot better. Yes, that was wonderful. Right. That was fantastic. But, no, art shows are good. It's really – what I love about the art, outdoor art shows is actually meeting people that I have talked to on Facebook or that are following my, me on Facebook or through my website – and I actually get a chance to meet them in person and have a conversation with them. And that is priceless. So I think some of the smaller, like the intimate shows, those are good. Where mm -hmm. You've done well. I think like the, honestly, the Allentown show has never been good. Right? Allentown's been of, okay. It's everyone, everyone knows the show. Allentown's been okay. From an artist's perspective, it's like. It's, uh, well, from myself and when I've, other artists I've talked to, uh, they've seen the decline in the sales in the last few years. Lots of people walking around. So a lot of people walking around, um, which is great for them. They're outside. They're enjoying the weather. They're meeting up with friends and chatting and having food, but not a whole lot of art buying. Right. So that can be an issue um, because those costs the artists just to set up and be there it's a few hundred, dollars. yeah, a few yeah. hundred dollars. Just a, so time. It's crazy. Um, yeah. So when we can't make sales or we're just breaking even with all the time spent and stuff that can be difficult but like i said i always try to look at those as a, a marketing investment rather than trying to actually sell yeah so i mean the reason why i was asking was do you feel like you're going to do the same number of shows you're going to i'm not doing any shows? this summer I'm not doing any of the shows no this no i'm focused my my 2020 goal is the word is focus i am i am really focusing on my craft this year okay so out of the door. Getting stuff. I've got lots of commissions packed in uh, through July. I'm opening my books ne next month too. So if anybody's interested in doing a commission, I'll be doing that. Um, packing in my commissions, working, working, working on, um, I'm trying to craft my style too. So I'm going to be working a lot more with brighter colors rather than your traditional palette, like browns. Um, now, okay. So when I do a pet portrait, say, there are a lot of browns and stuff I use, but there's and there are also like purples and pinks and things like that. But I'm going to take some of the browns out and focus more on the brighter colors to create my images. So it's not going to be, there are some artists that are using really, really bright, vivid colors. It's not going to be like that. And then there's artists that are doing very realistic paintings and it's not going to be like that. I want to fall somewhere in the middle. And I'm kind of working on that with the little African girl. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with her, I'm only using pink, purple, yellow, and blue. And, and to be clear, she's actually in, in Africa. Your mother went to Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, it's a, a picture from, from Africa she to, took. Yep, yeah. okay. yep, yeah. Just, just to be on politically that. correct. No, she is, she's a little African girl. Literally, she's from yeah. Africa. Um, I just fell in love with the picture. And... Uh, the picture is horrible, so my mom can't take a picture to save her life. I don't know if she's on here, but she knows that. And um, But I'm trying to make I, – I think that's why I'm trying to add color to her, too, because she's so precious, but the picture doesn't do her justice. So right. I really want to bring those purples and pinks through her skin. The skin color is amazing. African-American skin is incredible. The colors that they have, it's amazing. So, yeah. So that's kind of my year, my focus for 2020. So I've eliminated, I'm going to eliminate teaching one-on-one -on -one private lessons by the end of the year. I'm not doing any art shows this year. I might do quick setups for brush babies at like a fire hall, things like that to help get the word out. But I'm not doing the full on tent thing and Allentown and all that. And I am traveling, I'm doing three workshops for myself to better my skills this mm -hmm. year. So I'm not holding them. I'm going to take them. You said before, I know that you, you didn't want to do the one-on-one -on -one training. And you didn't want to do the um, the art shows. But I thought you did have a few profitable, profitable profitable events, like when you did workshops, right? So you did host a couple. Not your host one, you I've done that. workshops. You've done a couple. Like Correct. You did one at West Side Park. So yeah. Like that was good. Yeah. Those are great. Um, and I like, I like them to be a one-day thing or two at the most. Um, it's hard, and I get it. It's hard for people to commit to like a six-week or eight-week session. Um, we have just so much going on in our lives. So doing a one or two night or day thing, that's why I like brush babies. It's like a 
It's a three hour painting session, but you can do it at your leisure whenever you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take three hours. You can paint it in one hour if you want, but you have the instructions, something you can sit down and finish and you have a product. You have something that you did so that it, you can be proud of. At the end of the day, it comes down to, to valuing your time, right? That's what this year is about, yeah. valuing my time. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Like So, yes. you know, uh, and I think you had said something about not wanting to do more like illustrative projects anymore. I'm not going to do any more children's books. Right, because it's a their lot of sucks. effort. Yeah. yeah, their time sucks. And um, if that's where the if that was where I was going with my career, that would be great. But that's not what I I don't necessarily want to be an, a children's book illustrator. Do that, or you, or you have to ask for significantly more money. Right? I'd have to get more projects, right, and actually, instead of doing commission work, I should be focusing on book illustration. Right. Right. So, so every, to try every to mix time you're them, doing a page, you're, you're, it's, a it's hours. You're not doing it's right? hours, yeah. And you know, it doesn't seem like you see a children's book in the illustration, it looks very simple. It's very simple, it's but there's so much time and effort that goes into it because the layout, but else. not only that, but you're creating so you're taking the text, reading it, interpreting it how you think uh, somebody would react to it, and you're you know, respond to it. So, you're you're creating the um, image, the like image so rather than saying, here's my dog, can you draw this, drawing a dog, which is, there's a lot of time in that, but it, you're, you're just kind of, it's an exact, you don't, it's not creative, it's not going to be creative, like where this is like, image. okay, storyboards, now I got to run mm -hmm. it by the client, do they like, it? no, I want this tweak, so then you tweak it, it's a lot more work, so mm -hmm. yeah, so that's the route I was going. I would switch gears entirely, but I'm not. So I need to, as a business owner, I need to realize that and let it go, which I, it makes me sad because I do enjoy that. But I'll do my own whimsical illustrations when I have time. You have so. your goal, too. You really want to hit from the business. Yeah, I have my goal. So that's my year. How about you? You just, you're just you going to go for the director? Well, I, I, that's it's not like take, it's something. No, at the end of the day. the entire year? No, no. At the end of the day, the real goal is the project. And Yes. Hopefully, right. the reward out of the that. project done would be a promotion. The next rank would be that. But it's not like there's an open position I'm going to go You can't before. just go. I know. It's just more, I You're wanna, creating it. Well, I want to earn the position. I don't want right. to go apply. Right. right. Which also, on Mark's end, takes a lot of learning. Right. I know. Hi, Cam. <laughs> I'm going to answer your question too, Joe. Um, takes a lot of learning and uh, same thing, same skill set, learning new oh, skill yeah, sets. Yeah, and I gotta learn some new stuff. Ooh, I just never end. We're constantly re reinventing ourselves. Yeah, like anybody out there uh, knows. Joe, you said try art show with craft show. Actually, those are horrible for mm. an artist. Um, and the reason why is yes, you do get all kinds of different types of people. But most of the time when you have a craft show, it's a different, um, it's a different crowd and it's, they, they are looking more like when I go to a craft show, I'm thinking, okay, I've got $20, $40 in my pocket. I can get my kids something to eat. Maybe I'll find a trinket, you know, something cool, maybe a pillow or something about that price range. So um, I'm not necessarily at those, in those situations looking for high end art. So that can be really difficult to try to. Most people who are looking for um, higher end art aren't going to the craft shows. They are going to art galleries. They're going to specific art shows, outdoor art shows. So doing an art craft show is very, very hard to sell. Very so hard to sell. How involved are you from, um, I know that you're obviously friends with a lot of artists, mm -hmm. but I might, from a business perspective, do you have a lot of working relationships with galleries in the area? I mean, should that be something you work on? Like, more like no, I sell yourself? So you yeah, know, I have People come to the gallery looking for a commission? I haven't. Um, no, I haven't done that. Um, I don't. That's an interesting question. I wonder how many gallery owners actually have people looking for commission work. Well, you know, people could just walk in the cold and say, oh, yeah, so I don't you know, know, do you know an artist? And then, you that's know. interesting. No, I haven't. I know some owners. You know, I go to the shows and talk to them and stuff, but I haven't really made a business relationship with them. My, yeah. yeah, myself. Maybe that is something I'll look into, but um, I don't know if that's where. Maybe next year. I don't think that's where I want to be this year. Okay. Not that I would say no. If, if, Chloe. if a gallery um, <laughs> approached me and wanted to represent me in any way, I would say yes. <laughs> as long as it's, oh, I want to license my artwork this year. That is a big goal, and that's going to take a few years, but I want to work on that. 
you mean the licensure? Licensing my artwork where it gets like Brown products. Yeah, it gets like purchased. They buy it and then they use it. I am completely like brush babies. Someone could take that, license it, and go with it. And that okay. would be awesome. Okay. I would totally be open to that. Um like a CEO of the brush babies business going off and doing it. Or what doing it? Yeah. Like a marketing person maybe? No, like say targets or say uh oh, oh, like that. Okay. say like Hobby Lobby says, oh, we really like this, what you're doing. We want that. So why wait for them? Why not just put it on Amazon? Have you done that? No, that's a go. good idea. I'm Thank full you, of ideas Mark. Today. Yeah. Wow. Anybody see? else need some business tips? Oh. <laughs> go <laughs> ahead. Is here. That's right. Yeah, I'll have to go ahead and ask me. <laughs> Um, no, I didn't do that yet, so I will do that. This is what's nice is that, like, I say sometimes things, and you're actually listening to me today. So it's... I listen. <laughs> you stop! Oh my God, they're gonna think I'm a horrible person. Just saying. I listen to him all the time. Anyway, that's a really good idea, though. But that's kind of what I mean, like Hobby Lobby or any big corporation like that that wants to step in and be like, we want that product on our shelves, and we will license your artwork and take it. Good. Perfect. So that's going to be a goal I have. Um, I think that's all we got, guys. So sorry about our first uh, episode. It was a little, it was, it was fun, but it was a little short and lame. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> we're always good at the lame part. We are really good at being lame. Um, but we will be back. Not so. Actually, it's usually on Mondays. We missed yesterday. I don't even know why. Uh, <laughs> Monday it's came and went. Happen. Yeah, I don't know. We are so know. screwed up. We don't even know what day it is half the time. Maybe we're out fighting crime. Thank goodness for our son. He keeps his schedule. Yeah. He really does. So yeah. we will be back on. Oh, my birthday's this week. No, it's next week. It's Mon this coming next week. Monday. I know, but okay. it's coming. Yeah. So not the 13th. We'll be back on the 20th. No, yeah, because I'll be out of time. You're not supposed to tell people online that you're going to be out of town. I'll be totally there. Watch too many murder shows. And, you know, I'll have he will be here the whole time. With weapons. With weapons. We Sharp do have weapons. Instruments. And dogs. We have dogs. Mean. Dogs will actually kill you. They will. They will. Survival. They are really mean. Yeah. Um, she looks all sweet. Um, <laughs> no, they're yeah, not. No. But anyway, yeah, we'll be back on the 20th. So everybody have a great night. Everybody. I said you guys are late. Yes, we were late. We were late. We mm -hmm. were supposed to be on at 7.30, but, and we were. I mean, we were five minutes late. We were five minutes late. We did a little episode. You can see it. It was kind of lame. And then Mark's like, oh, we should have done year and review. So we jumped back on since we were still sitting here. Namaste. So, namaste. Namaste. It is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. <laughs>